Hello and welcome. Relax and sit back. This video is about the file separation between a camera and the RP150. So thanks to an SD card which is present in the slot here, we can save the RP data. RP is the panel itself, so because this panel is like this one is are we are AWRP150, we can save that setting data on an SD card, but also all camera data and scene files. By the way, the camera connected is the UA150. For other cameras, operations might be slightly different or not so complete, but anyway, in the small box you see the UA150. So, when we put an SD card, uh, first of all we need to be sure it's formatted according to the SD card standard that we will do as a first so we go to maintenance and in maintenance we have files and files this is all concerning SD card we can load store format let's do that first we go to for execute yes then it ask me to confirm I'll do so this slot blinks green when it's green light or blinking it is doing some operations on the card and basically it wants to say don't take it out now card formatting takes a little time that's why I'm talking you through it because silence yeah on YouTube <laughs> is not so good for the views okay complete so that was the formatting done already concerning uh, files this one this is for the camera data to store it and load it back to the camera if you want to store the rp settings rp settings are like user assignment how this joystick will react and some other functions you need to go rp settings and then number five data save I say yes, then it asks to confirm, it will blink very shortly, bleep bleep, already done. So now I save the configuration of the RP150 onto the SD card. By the way, this does not include the network settings for the RP or uh, it does not include the network settings for all the connection settings for all the cameras because uh, that would probably make a mess in many cases of uh, the controlling between cameras and the panel but the, we have a program I explained that in another movie where you can upload all your camera uh, addresses and the way they are connected and insert it in the RP so that is done by another way anyway let's go to the files menu now so there is load store and format format with it already now you might think what is load and what is store so store is from the camera from this one to the SD card and load is from the SD card back to the camera since we format the SD card there is nothing on it anymore so first we will do a store now we can select camera all or a scene. Camera all takes all data from the camera part, so the four scenes and whatever is in it, but also the presets and the system. The only thing it does not take is the IP configuration of the camera. That's logic, because if you want to set another camera the same as the first one you did, you want to keep that same IP address, you don't want to have an overlap. So that's why that is not taken. Anyway, I will store camera all data to the SD card. So I set it, yes. I ask execute, yes. Then up, yep. Oops, now it's already busy saving. So this also takes some time because it has collect, it has to read the EEPROM from the camera part and from the servo part so the servo part keeps all the presets 
take that in the panel and then write it to the SD card. So within a few seconds, yeah, it will blink and then it's complete. Okay, done. Maybe you don't want all camera data, but you made a nice scene and you want to save that scene and send it to another camera. Okay, let me show you how to store a scene. So scene, yes, then maybe scene one. Okay, that's good. And yes, and store. So this goes very rapidly. It's already done. I also like scene two, so I will also store that one on the SD card. Yep, already done. So now I stored two scenes on the SD card. You, If you ask yourself what is in the scene, so let's go to camera menu. I'll show you. So basically everything what is in this menu will be stored as a scene. And the camera has four different scenes. What is not stored in the scenes is the white balances that you stored into the presets. That is not part of any scene. That is just one table that is valid for all scenes. Same for the preset positions. <laughs> Luckily, it's like that. Otherwise, if you change scene, you would have to do redo all the presets. Now we want to put back some scene to the camera. So we select load, then scene. And you might remember uh, we already, um, this number three is where in the camera do you want to put it? So on scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. Well, I want to put it on scene four, okay? But you might remember we stored already several scenes on the SD card. So which one will it choose? Well, that's simple. It will ask me. You see, I already stored another one. This was not recorded in this clip, but anyway, I stored several scenes on the SD card. Scene 4 makes no sense because it's scene 4. Okay, I select scene 1. Okay, there we go. Yes. So now it will uh, send scene 1 from the SD card to scene 4 in the camera. By the way, if you do such an operation, you see the camera did go black because after the scene file is loaded, the camera will be rebooted. So it's still busy rebooting. Up Now it shut down the power and now the LED is orange. So now it will do its initial uh, setup. So every time you recall a scene, there it is already awake. It's uh, checking the limit positions now. Every time you recall a scene or all camera, it will reboot the unit. So never, 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 never do that in any live operation. It's almost back online. This one will become green in a second. Yes, and now we can go back for our preset. Oh, this white balance is not so nice. I push AVB and there we are again. So I think I said almost everything I had to say. So thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye bye.